to my channel. Today's video is gonna be another get ready with me video, but today's it's gonna be also a Q&A. So I had a follower message me um, earlier saying that even though she watches my videos, she still doesn't really know me that well through my videos because I guess I don't really talk about myself other than whenever I do story times. So she thought a Q&A would be a good idea. So I'm gonna take up on her suggestion and incorporate a Q&A in this chit chat get ready with me video just so you guys um, know a little bit more about me um, depending on your questions that um, you ask. So I posted on my Instagram story like that questions bubble thing. I haven't looked at the questions you guys sent me yet so it's all gonna be like first impressions kind of thing. But before I start, I'm gonna be using stuff from the Joa Box. Joa Box is a Korean beauty subscription box service. Um, I've used them before, uh, probably like two or three years ago. It's a really old video of mine that I'm sure like, this was like before I even had like 10,000 subscribers. I've used a few of their stuff before and then they pretty much introduced me to a lot of um, some of my favorites like my Opu Everyday Sun Gel. I got it from my Joa box and I repurchased it since. So I've used other Korean beauty subscription services before. Like I've been sent some to review and I never really liked them because I always felt like some of them had like really cheap stuff in it that it just seemed like they were trying to get rid of. But I think with Joa box, they actually introduce you to a lot of cool stuff. Um, stuff that are that is definitely usable and stuff that I have actually incorporated into my own routine since. So yeah, I'm gonna open this one up. I think this is May. So I know it's June, but so it says Chua Box May. Creating beauty is art. So it looks like I have a sunscreen, a brush, a mask, a hair mask, a glitter shadow thing, and a sheet mask. So right now I definitely cannot use the hair mask. So the hair mask is this one from W Lab, which I, I've heard of the brand before I have that um, corrector thing from them that I actually still use. So it's the Hair Steam Ample Mask Cap. So it's like a step one, step two, step three. So it's $15 and it helps with dry frizzy hair. So I'm gonna save this and probably use it and update you guys on my story because I am gonna get my hair done soon and I'm gonna be bleaching a little bit so um, it'll probably be really dead because <laughs> my hair is already pretty bad enough as it is so I'll save that for then and let you know about it but I will use this sheet mask from Dam Mjör but it's called the Beauty Inside Bamboo um, Nude Seal Mask. You either get the moisturizing one or the nourishing one. So this one's the moisturizing one. It's $4 and says these facial mask sheets are formulated with bamboo and other plant extracts. They are deeply moisturizing and are nude seal sheet, which means that it will look like you are not wearing anything. Ooh, we'll see about that. I'm very, you know, into my sheet masks as you guys can maybe tell from my other videos. Ah, it's dripping. Sometimes I hate it when um, sheet masks drip that much. Still dripping like crazy. I don't know if it's nude. Yeah, people always ask me how I put on sheet masks. So what I do is I mostly fit it around my forehead. Then I make my way towards my nose. Fit it around my lips. And then the last part I kind of touch is just like my cheek area or the sides of my face. So I can see it's a really long. So I just kind of like fold it over to make it fit better. See, it's kind of easy to get it fitted well. So I'm gonna wear this for, let's see, 10 minutes because I don't really have <laughs> a lot of time. I have to work. Actually, no, I'm gonna try to answer a couple questions while I wait. I don't want to answer all of them because who knows how many I can answer in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go from um, whoever asked me first. So what's one piece of advice you would l tell your former self? P.S. I love you and your video so much. Thank you. Oh god, I can't even move in this. <laughs> um, one piece of advice, I guess, I would tell my former self would be, would be, don't think being lazy is cool. Like, or don't think your I don't care attitude is always making you look cool. I think I used to have that in high school. Like, I would not put much effort into things I know I probably could have and I would have done a better job. Like I'm talking on school mostly. I think that's my biggest regret in high school is not really trying. I always thought in high school, like why do people care so much about school and shit? I, I always hung out with the people who would always just 
only talked about school the only way that they would get along or get to know other people is by like talking about school and and i just never liked that for some reason uh, i was just like can you talk about something else like your personal lives or your interests other than fucking school i don't know i would ditch a lot in high school mostly because i, I just felt like out of place i guess um, i was still somewhat new not really. I don't know, I always thought like high school doesn't really determine anything, college does, but how do you get into college is through high school. So me not trying that hard in high school, I feel like kind of set me up for failure, but I mean, it's not, I'm not fa a failure, which is something I had to realize about myself. Cause like a lot of people don't really know what they want to do. It's only now I realize what I want to do still, but you never know, like things always change. So I guess um, uh, advice I would say to myself is just always do your best, and then another question is, what's your opinion on standing artists? I kind of don't really have a problem with people who are like big fans of someone. I wouldn't say I'm a huge stan of anyone because I don't really, I have never really experienced liking a band so much to the point that I have to like follow everything they do. I mean, I am huge fans of people, but never to that point. So usually I wouldn't have a problem with stands, but I think my, the only issue I have is that these people sometimes find like no fault in the people they do stand. Like they have to like every single thing that every song or whatever that they post, they have to defend them to the max. But the thing is like, like people aren't perfect. People are gonna do um, things that are definitely wrong or you know, make mistakes. Sometimes stands never like, they never want the people that they idolize to seem like they make mistakes. They just always say like, oh no, it's okay. It's not a big deal or, Oh, I love every single thing you post. Like I have certain bands that I like or certain artists that I like that I still don't like some of the songs that they put out. Like, like I love Arctic Monkeys, but that recent album that they put out, I just did not understand. <laughs> like recently now I like Twice a lot. Like I listen to all their music now, even though I used to like dislike them without even listening to their music. This math, holy shit, I can't answer this one. I still don't like Signal or TT, like I think those songs are kind of like their worst. So yeah, even though I really like Twice Now, some of their songs I don't, I still don't like. So I mean, that's, I think what people need to realize is that not everything someone puts out or whatever is gonna be absolutely perfect or everyone's gonna like. And I think you can't really change other people's opinions when it's like that. I think like I put out before that I didn't really like the certain artist anymore. And then I got some of like the stand Twitter against me. They're like, you're, you're a dumb bitch. You look like a fucking ogre just because I didn't like a certain thing about from this artist. But it's like, I'm not talking about their character. I'm just saying this wasn't that great. Like people are going to have opinions about certain things. So that's kind of like my opinion about stands. <laughs> All right, so it's been 10 minutes. The mask was pretty good. It's very thin. It fitted pretty well. Um, I mean, I showed you guys how to fit it a little bit better. My only problem is that sometimes like my, I hate it when sheet masks are soaked so much. Mostly it's because it starts to seep into my eyes and it burns a lot. But was, I didn't have a problem with that happening, but I mean, it still could happen because it's so wet. But I mean, I'm gonna wait for this to dry and see how this feels. Cause I hate it when sheet masks are super sticky. It's feeling a little bit sticky. Uh, I'm gonna use the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Light Sun Essence. Now I've actually heard people talk about this before, so I'm really excited to try this out. It's $27. I'm excited that it's a semi-matte. How would you describe your style? Love you. Thank you. I feel like my style it can really just range. Like I could look really feminine or I can just look like kind of homeless because <laughs> I wear a lot of baggy stuff. So I think I really wouldn't know how to describe my style. I definitely do like to wear more dark clothes. People say I look goth. I don't think I look goth. I just like dark tones. Um, I would. I wish I could pull off more color, but I feel like when I do, it, it just looks really off. But I mean, I still try my best to wear a bit more color in my life. Like I have phases, I want to wear more color and then I realize I don't think I look good in it. So then I stop for a while and then I always come back. I really wouldn't know how to describe my style. The main factor in my style would be comfort. If I don't feel comfortable in something, I will not wear it. So that's why I wear a lot of baggy stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's I guess how I would describe my style. I mean, I think you guys would do a better job at describing my style than myself. Probably because of the sheet mask, but I, have, I don't really see much of a semi matte finish but it is helping to get rid of some of the, the stickiness from the sheet mask. 
Oh yeah, on my hand where I put it, it looks more semi-matte. I think, yeah, it's definitely because of this, uh, the sheet mask that I can't really see the actual finish of the sunscreen. This is why I usually do sheet masks at night. I'm gonna move on to foundation, but before I do, I'm gonna use this Kicho Large Multi Brush. This is $24. Uh, this multi-usage synthetic brush is perfect for liquid cream and powder foundations. Its curved shape allows a perfect application all over the face. Plus, it is lightweight and super easy to clean. I've used Kicho brushes before. Like, I have a set of makeup brushes and I also have like a skincare cleansing brush. And Kicho brushes are pretty high quality. So, very excited to try this. This is a really interesting brush. But I do like using these kinds of dense synthetic brushes for a foundation. Like I've been using this e.l.f. blending brush for my foundation these days. So this is kind of a bit similar. So next question is from my friend. He says, how deep can you squat? I mean, I could squat like all the way with my butt touching the floor like slightly. I'll probably feel super sore the next day. But, I mean, I can deep squat. It's just when you, once you add weights, it's kind of hard. I don't know why I'm applying this all over my face because this dries really quickly. Hmm. It seems to blend really easily and it doesn't seem like it's absorbing too much product, which I feel like a lot of, it's kind of hard to find brushes that don't absorb product. Yeah, it is super dense, but it really um, fits the curve of my cheeks because I have really big cheeks and this just fits, um, go, glides over it really easily rather than using like the flat brush. Ooh, and it fits my forehead nicely too. Hmm. Okay, next question. Why did you start YouTube? I feel like I mentioned this before, but just in case people haven't, <laughs> don't know, it's because I was lonely in, um, in school. Pretty much I started YouTube just because I moved to a new city and I had absolutely no friends. And it was just hard for me to, I mean, I did hang out with some people, like my tour guide, whatever, for um, showing me around school. But and it's still different. Like I don't really know these people that well. I just hang out with them just for the sake that I'm not lonely or by myself. Like I don't want to be a loner in middle school of all places. I couldn't really talk to anyone. So because of that, I just decided to make my um, make a YouTube channel to, I guess, express myself. Starting a makeup YouTube channel wasn't always my my first thought. Um, I always wanted to be a Pokemon video game like streamer. Like I always just wanted to play po Pokemon games and upload that because that's kind of what I mostly watched a lot. And I want to do that, but it's kind of like I didn't, I wanted to play the 3DS games um, rather than the DS games, mostly because when I try to play ROMs on my computer, which wasn't that good, like I know nothing about computers, um, it would just be super loud, like the fan would be super loud, and it just slowed down my computer, and editing was just crazy. So I, I mean, I, I looked into getting a 3DS capture card and it was just so expensive, and I'm in high school, I can't afford that. I couldn't um, become a streamer if I wanted to. So what was the next interest I had? Makeup. So uh, not that I even did wore a lot of makeup in high school. I'm glad I didn't, but I just did it out of fun. It was an interest of mine and look what it brought me today. How is your day going? I mean, my day just started. Um, so far it's fine. I just woke up a couple hours ago and I have to get ready for work. So, I mean, who knows how work is gonna be. But so far it's okay. This brush is pretty nice. No streaks at all, it's super dense and it fits the curves of my face and it has no problem getting around my nose, it's just my eyelashes are shedding. So the next question is, do you think the Korean or K-pop wave will die down and when? As someone who's grown up with it, like this is literally my culture kind of, I feel like K-pop has just constantly been growing and growing. The first big hit I've seen was Wonder Girls Tell Me and I don't I'm I wasn't really aware of it who people like what people thought of it like internationally I just knew Koreans like because I went to Korean church and all were obsessed with it. Then it was Sonia Shida G, then uh, Brown Eyed Girls, Abracadabra, all that kind of stuff. I think it was mostly because of YouTube that people were able to find out about it and all that it just got popular and popular, more and more people got onto it. So I, I feel like right now people calling K-pop a trend. I don't think it's a trend. It's always been around. It's not a fad. It, it's always been around and it will always be around. Like I think Americans 
Sorry, my blood just like rubbed against my chair. Western people are calling this a fad. It's it's just music. People are gonna always be into this. I think right now it's huge. Like it's crazy how big it is. But I don't think people will get over it because like K-pop groups, they're coming out like all the time. So if there's if someone gets sick of one group, there's always gonna be another group that they will like move to. So I mean, I've done it before. <laughs> like I grew up with um, Big Bang and Twenty One. Big Bang's pretty much gone, 21 has been gone. I'm still upset about that, but I mean, kind of just move on to the next group. People calling it a fad or a trend, I think kind of disrespectful. So yeah, I think it will not die down in my opinion. How do you get through a slump? Hmm, I mean, I don't think I have the healthiest habits of getting over a slump. Um, I just eat a lot, kind of close myself off from people, don't really go out. So I mean, if you want the honest, answer that's how I do it but yeah it's not the healthiest way probably the healthiest way that I would go through a slump is just self-care go to the gym because working out makes me feel better do things be active that kind of stuff that would be the most appropriate answer <laughs> I'm gonna use um, these new sponges from spicy choco they release like a whole bunch of different shapes of the sponges that I already like so I'm gonna use this one it's called the blush blend so, I mean, it kind of looks like a beauty blender, but it's cut on one side and then it's flat on the bottom. So I'm gonna use this for cream blush. That's what I feel like wearing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this. Any tips on finding a major college-wise and career-wise? It's probably gonna be the same thing I always tell people. Um, if you don't know what you wanna do in college, what you wanna major in, what you wanna study, don't stress about it because like, because you're, like I said, people aren't gonna know what they wanna do right with their future when they're fucking 18, 17, 19, or even 20. Some people still don't even know like when they are like legally an adult. Is to just go to community college, like it's not a big deal. I don't know why people, there's like a stigma against people who go to community college, like they see them as less. You get the same classes, I mean you're learning the same stuff. The professors pretty much also teach at a four-year university, but you're going to community college where it's so much cheaper rather than spending a lot on tuition because I mean the American education system is trash. So why not go to community college where you can go basically for little to like nothing. Like just take your general ed in community college and then maybe explore the different classes without spending a lot of money to figure out what you want to do in your life. I think that's the smartest decision. How good are 3CE products? I want to try some of their lip products. Not everything from 3CE is going to be perfect. <laughs> but I mean, some of my favorites would be the, now it's the, the Slim Velvet lipsticks. I really like those. And the matte lipsticks are okay. Like it's not the best. I just mostly get it for the colors because it's just kind of easier to select colors that way because it's like they're all they're always on trend that's kind of why I get the 3C lipsticks because it's kind of trendy <laughs> but I mean there are better formulas but one thing I would definitely recommend would be the the velvet lip tints yeah velvet lip tints and the slim velvet lipsticks I think those are probably kind of like the best formulas have you ever felt awkward in your school slash daily settings I feel awkward all the time I don't know why people think that I'm really outgoing. I'm definitely not. I'm super introverted when you first meet me, but then once I get comfortable in a certain situation, I become really loud. Just ask my coworkers, they all think, they all say that I kind of catfished them when I first started working there. Like I was super quiet and now I, I just won't shut up. <laughs> in high school, I was pretty much mute because um, I just didn't like talking at all. I never really associated myself with anyone. I would only talk among my friends, but everyone else I just was absolutely silent. So when people find out like I fucking talk, they're like surprised. Like you're nothing like how you were back in the day. So yeah, I'm just an awkward person in general. My boba order. I don't really like boba, even though I kind of like work in a boba place. So I just like to drink water. But if, if I go, because my boyfriend really likes going to boba places. So when I do go with him, I just get a mango black tea. No sweet with nothing in it. I get normalized, no, um, but I just do like no sweet on it. I hate light ice people, it's so annoying. Or no ice people are the worst. But yeah, that's, I'm kind of boring. I don't really like boba, so. Hi, I was one, I hope you're doing fine. I was wondering what your dream destination is. I mean, I've been to Japan and I want to go back and that's like, kind of like the only place I really, really want to go back to is Japan. Mostly because I want to do a do-over of the trip. But I mean, Japan, I mean, I love Japanese food. It's like my favorite cuisine. And I mean, the Japanese people are adorable. 
so nice, so cute. Fucking Pokemon, I love Pokemon, I love Nintendo. Their Disneyland is better than our Disneyland, even though ours is the original. Everything about Japan is just amazing. So I feel like I'm a huge weeb, so that's, <laughs> that's my dream destination, even though I've already been there. I just really want to go back again. I mean, I am going to Europe in the winter time. I am going to Hawaii, so it's going to be cool. But I don't even like the beach that much. I'm more of a city person and Japan. <laughs> Japan, I love Japan. <laughs> Are you currently dating? Yes, I am. I know I was like really quiet about it in the beginning, but now I just don't care. Uh, I think a lot of people already know who I'm dating, but some, pe some people think he's my brother. He's not my brother. We don't look anything alike. And why would my brother touch my thigh? <laughs> in my vlog, like holding onto my thigh and people are like, oh my god, you, your brother is adorable. He's not my brother. That's gross. What brother is touching your thigh like that? What's your favorite ice cream flavor? It's definitely matcha. But these days I've, cause like, you know how the, all the like places like Somi Somi or like the Asian matcha soft serve places, they always come with, um, they always have black sesame as a flavor too. So I've been getting a lot of like the matcha black sesame swirls. So good. So I feel like now black sesame is kind of almost beating matcha ice cream for me, which is a lot to say because I, I love matcha forever. Matcha green tea mochi ice cream. Oh, the best. I used to, cause there used to be like a Trader Joe's or there is a Trader Joe's close to my high school. So after high school, I would always walk over there and they would sell mochi uh, ice cream. But now they changed the brand. They use like coconut milk now and they're trying to be healthy. But before they sold like the good ones that they sell at like Little Tokyo. So I'm pretty sure that's why I was like 140 in high school. If you dyed your hair color today, what color would it be? I'm actually planning on dyeing my hair soon. Um, after my birthday, I have an appointment at the hair salon. So I'm gonna be dyeing my hair black again, but I'm gonna do um, bleach streaks. I'm gonna color it silver or gray, which is kind of boring, I know, but I mean, I cannot do a lot to my hair. I feel like my hair is just gonna, my hairline's already horrible enough as it is. So I need to be careful with it. But if I could dye my hair any color I wanted, I would love to pull off pink because I, I love pink. And like every single time I saw girls with pink hair, like the cutest like baby pink color, I would always get jealous because I can't pull that off. I would be bald by the time I'm 30. What TV shows, movies, um, series on Netflix do you recommend? Right now I just binged watch um, The Chef Show, it has Jon Favreau in it, who pretty much kickstarted all of the Marvel Universe by directing um, Iron Man, the first one. And he plays Happy in it, and he was also, d does like a lot of Disney movies, made Chef. In that series um, that he just launched, it's kind of like a documentary. He's with Roy Choi, the famous chef Roy Choi. And it's just him cooking, and sometimes celebrities are in it. And it's just a, it's a feel good kind of um, documentary series. It's not really a documentary, it's not really a cooking show. I mean, it is cooking, but it's not like, it's just him hanging out and that kind of stuff. Or a movie I recommend, it's not necessarily on Netflix, but The Nice Guys, I kind of rewatched that recently. I watched that a long time ago when it came out. It didn't do that well in the movies, but it's a really good movie. It has Ryan Gosling and uh, Russell Crowe. It's kind of like a comedy detective movie, but it's so funny and it's so good. I, I think more people need to watch that. And Ryan Gosling is such a good actor. Like the range, man, the range. Do you prefer buying drugstore or high-end brands of makeup? I feel like when I do try to buy high-end makeup, I always end up returning it because I feel like the heck, I could get the same quality from drugstore. So yeah, I don't really buy a lot of high-end makeup. I mostly, if I do buy high-end makeup, is just to make myself feel better. <laughs> Retail therapy. How many pets do you have? I swear I always see animals on your Instagram, but not on your channel. I have kind of three. I have one cat for sure. And the other two cats are my boyfriends, but I, I mean, I'm always there. They love me. So I say they're my cats too. But the reason why you don't really see any pets in here is because my cat is outdoors, but I sneak him in sometimes just to sleep with me. But yeah, but he's just too independent that he doesn't like being inside. He likes to explore, so he's mostly an outside cat. How do you stick with working out? Um, 
I kind of just shit talk myself into working out all the time because I have been like not overweight but I was definitely out of shape and the way I eat I have to work out because if I don't work out then I will be 30 pounds heavier so because of that that's how I always work out do you like BTS if so who is your bio bias uh, I used to like BTS I don't really follow them anymore but when I did I was always like stuck between RM when he was RM or when he was rap monster so I still call him rap monster it was either him or V how's your cat my cat's doing fine he's just getting old so the last thing from Joa box is the Riray Lux metal glitter the only issue I have with this is that it's silver and I usually don't like silver but it says it's not a lip gloss but eyeshadow it can be used on top of eyeshadows or by itself to give a glitter effect it's long lasting and super adhesive I don't know how it's gonna look either see the glitter I mean you could apply it sheerly it almost just doesn't really suit this makeup look but whatever I guess I'm only going to work do you think you have different versions of yourself depending on who you're around? Definitely. I mean, I work in customer service. I cannot be like how I am in real life around customers or else I'll be fired or have so many bad reviews about myself. Even though sometimes when I'm pissed off at a customer, it still comes out sometimes. But yeah, I'm definitely different. I mean, I mean I'm different around my family compared to my friends, compared to who I work with, compared to like how I am around you guys. Do you have any siblings? I feel like you are an only child. I do have an older sister who is six years older than me. I don't know. A lot of people always think that I'm an only child. I wonder what part of me makes you guys feel that way. Are you making a lot of money from YouTube right now? I mean, compared to two years ago, when I was probably only making like $5 a month, definitely. But I don't think I would, I don't make enough to live off of. Not that I want to live off of um, making YouTube videos, but I definitely I have to have a second job because I would not be able to survive on um, what I solely on what I make off of. Biggest pet peeves? I tell everyone this. My biggest pet peeve is having to repeat myself, whether it's um, among friends, among coworkers. I hate repeating myself. It's kind of my fault, I guess, because I mumble my words. But when it's me like trying to teach someone something, like a coworker, and I have to repeat myself, like I ha like they repeat this problem multiple times, even though I told them to fix it mul like multiple times, it's so annoying. But yeah, repeating myself is my biggest pet peeve. Anyone will tell you that, whoever knows uh, me in real life. This isn't a question, but I'm really depressed and I don't know what to do. If you want, you could reach out to me, message me talk about that. I mean, I've been depressed before too. And the way I dealt with that was just leaving that on my own. I was like very silent about it, never talked to anyone about it. But I think mostly the key is just talking out, talking to someone about it, because that'll help. Okay, next question is, I want to start YouTube, but I'm afraid of people I know in real life finding out, plus affecting my law career. That still is kind of my biggest fear, people finding out. But usually once, for me, when people find out about it, they don't really do much about it. They don't really seem to care. Uh, I mean, they still watch, but for some reason, the people I know in real life find it either like kind of cool or they just don't really, they're like, oh, you have YouTube? Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like they don't really seem to care much about it. For it to go into your law career, it probably might be a problem just because like depending on what you do, what you talk about, like say if it's like me and I had a law career and the way I talk on YouTube, like how unprofessional, um, how blunt I am as a person. So if I were you, I would just, if you want to do it still, I would just be careful of what I talk about. Don't talk shit about bosses or whatever, like how I do. It being a law career, I think that could be like a really good focus on your YouTube channel. Maybe like the day in the life of a law student or a lawyer. Cause I, for me, I watch a lot of those kinds of vlogs, like for the career I'm interested in, like day in the life of a dental hygienist. Like I watch those kinds of vlogs. Uh, it might be of interest to a lot of people to see how that goes. If Style Korean ever had another contest, would you join it again? Probably not, just because I already had my experience with it. So I would probably want to give someone else the chance to experience what I experienced. I mean, I like to help out, but I wouldn't participate in it because I don't think it would be fair either. Do you read any web comics? Kind of, yes or no? Because what I read are the, like, the Avatar comics, but I don't read it like, I read it like from a YouTube video. 
that like kind of animates it a little bit so kind of but that would be like the only thing i um like the only web kind of comics i watch read how old am i i mean you guys can guess but i'll just say i'm in my early 20s people think i'm still in high school I don't, I don't think I look like the person who's still in high school. Can we get some more story times? Um, for now, I just keep kind of my, my story times on my Instagram live just because some of the, I see some juicier stuff on my Instagram live, but I just don't want to put a bunch of stuff out there for the public to see just cause it's kind of not bad, but like revealing kind of things. I don't think I should post a separate, like a whole video about like my stalker story. My most recent stalker story, I don't really put that on. Uh, I'm not gonna make a separate video about that just cause the, a whole bunch of people knowing about that. Do a meet and greet, please. Uh, I don't think I'll have an official meet and greet, but I am planning on going to like some conventions just on my own this summer. So I am planning on going for one day to Anime Expo and I'm thinking of, um, checking out BeautyCon just to see how that is. KCon, I don't really think I'm gonna go because I don't really have much interest in it. Depending on who's going, I guess, maybe. But I think I just wanna go like on my own, not with a, a sponsored company or something like that. <laughs> I saw that you follow Joy from Red Velvet. Are you by any chance a... Uh... It got cut off, but I think you're saying, oh, Revel Love. <laughs> love Elise, I was close. But uh, yeah, they're one of my favorite K-pop groups. I know a lot of you guys have been recommending me some BTS music because like, you know, BTS is like the most famous. And like I said, I didn't really listen to them because um, I stopped listening to them to um, save me. But then the most recent song they came out with, with Halsey, I listened to their live performance on SNL and they improved so much. Like they, they, because when it came to singing, I, I mean, I love EXO and I always thought EXO was a lot better when it came to vocals. But BTS has improved a lot because I always thought BTS was really good at dancing. But yeah, they improved a lot. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm really happy about that. I'm proud of them for that. Red Velvet is one of my favorite K-pop groups. Um, Twice, EXO. I'm kind of getting into G Idol. Itzy, I love Itzy. But I think mostly I like um, girl groups. Not a lot of boy groups, to be honest. All right, so that's it for um, my makeup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A portion. Hopefully you got to know me a little bit more because I guess I don't really talk about myself that much on my channel even though I thought I did but I guess I don't. But yeah, so pretty much all the stuff I used from Chua Box. I actually do like that. This foundation brush is gonna be my new go-to. We're just gonna see how much of a pain this is to clean. This sunscreen, um, I love Thank You Farmer. So I'm really excited about this and it, it, how it's semi-matte like my skin. I probably will enjoy this a lot more because I am getting a lot oilier in the summertime compared to my other sunscreens that I have. Um, they don't, they just give me more of like a moisturized kind of finish. Um, dewy finish, should I say. Um, the sheet mask was, it wasn't bad. Like, I'll give it a 3 out of 5 just because it's the material was good. It kept my face uh, moisturized, but I also just didn't like the sticky finish and also it was way too wet. Um, I hate she masks that are really wet and kind of sticky. The glitter is not bad. It's a lot more sheer than I thought, but you definitely can layer it up. But for me, it's just, I don't really like silver because it's just too cool toned. And I don't really wear, like silver would look good if you wear a lot of dark shadows, I think. But um, I don't really wear a lot of dark cool toned shadows, so it doesn't really suit me. But they do have other colors like a bronze and an aurora. So I feel like those would have been better for me. And then the hair mask, like I said, I still need to try out um, once I get my hair bleached, which will be in a couple weeks because um, I was getting it removed, the color removed. You probably can't tell, but my hair is back to my natural hair color because I got rid of the black. Um, so my hair is a lot more brown now. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, you can of course subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and my Spotify or SoundCloud. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.